All right, proceeding on from the Zelda example, uh, the first thing I'd like to do is uh, make sure that I have a bow and an arrow sprite. So I'm going to create those real quick. So let's see. I'm actually going to do a create from strip, if you remember how those work. So let's see, a bow, maybe something like that. So I should probably... I accidentally grabbed some of the edges of other weapons, and I want to get rid of this black. So first of all, I'm going to erase a color. Then I'm going to take the eraser and actually remove some of these other things that are along the edges. Do, do, do. There we go. An image. I should probably center this guy and call it something other than Sprite 10, Bow Sprite. There we go. I'd also like to create my arrow sprite. I'm also going to create this from a strip. Same thing. Maybe that one right there. So I want to erase the black out of there. And also erase whatever that is, whatever that is. And then I'm going to have this face in the direction I'm going. So I'm going to rotate this so it's facing to the right, because that's zero degrees. So if I rotate this, 270, now it's facing to the right. And I should probably center this guy as well. All right, so now I've got sprites for what I need. So what I'd like to do is I would like to have an object that's just kind of sitting in the room, and that's the one that I collect. Once I have that, then I want it to be able to show up in my menu. So Maybe I'll make a menu version of the bow, where if I click on that, it'll actually allow me to equip it. And only if it's equipped am I allowed to actually use some sort of attack. Um, so actually, now that I think about it, let me create another version of this sprite, which is going to have an opaque background so that it's easier to click on. Otherwise, I have to try and click on this blue area. So let's fill this in with, I don't know, yellow, sure. There we go. That will make it easier to click on. That's not real attractive. I'm sure you want a better one for yours. So first of all, the object that I can actually run into in the room. So I'm going to create that object. It's going to be a bow. It looks like that. And I would like to make it that when Link collides with this, it's going to destroy this bow. And I'm going to have a variable that allows me to actually um, see it in the menu. I think I'm going to put that in Link. So to begin with, I actually have to create that variable. So far, I've got a global variable that keeps track of the current room. I'd also like to create a global variable. Maybe has bow, uh, which I'll set to zero initially. And if it's a one, that means he does have the bow. You can also use true and false, by the way. False means zero, and true means one or more than one. Uh, if you're more comfortable using the words, that's fine. I should also have a global variable. Maybe bow equip, which is also currently set to zero. So this one will keep track of whether I have it. This one will keep track of whether or not I have it equipped right now. The global variables will stick around when I go into the menu. So even though link will get deactivated, the global variables will still be there. So when this guy has a collision with the bow, I'd like to set global.hasbow to be a 1. And I want to destroy the bow object, which in this case, since I'm in the link object, the other thing is the bow. So I want to destroy other. All right, so that should allow me to actually collect the bow. And if I want to double check that, one thing I can do is I can run it in the debugger. So that's this red arrow here. This allows us to collect more information about the game as it's running. In particular, it's useful for looking at variables. So. If I go under Tools up here in the debugger window and look at global variables, 
Down here at the bottom, here's current room, has bow and bow equip. Also has other information that is built in. So here's score, lives, and health, for example. You might recognize those from uh, other games. You can also look at individual variables. So, for example, I can look at, say, the ghost. If I, wanted to, if I go to show instances, this shows me all the things in the room, each of which has a unique ID number. So if there's more than one object in the room, for example, if I had two ghosts, I can look at the one that I'm interested in by using its ID number. So once I have this, if I go under show local variables, it'll ask me either to provide a name if there's only one, or an ID number if there's more than one. So if I want to go look at the ghost, let's see, 100016. There we go. So here's the various information about that guy. And if there were variables in him, he would, those would show up at the bottom. So if I highlight the screen to give it focus again, you can see that the x and y position of all these things are changing. So it's useful for figuring out what's going on in the game using the debugger. So what I was looking at was global variables. So if I go back over here, go collect the bow. All right, has bow is now one. Good. So once I have the bow, how should that work in the menu? Well, I should probably create an object that shows up in the menu and uses this sprite here. So I'm going to create an object. Let's call it bow menu underscore O. It's going to have this bow sprite here. And I would like to make it that when I left press on this object, it sets that bow equip to be a 1. So I'm going to add a mouse left press, which sets variable global dot bow equip to be a 1. So that's matching the one that I set up in Link, and it's in his game start. This global bow equip. So this one should be set then. Now this guy isn't actually in the menu yet, and I would like to make it that this object go back is actually going to keep track of that. So right after I deactivate Link, what I'd like to do is check to see if he has the bow, and if that should create the menu object in the screen. So global dot has bow. If that's a one, I want to make it that it creates this bow menu object. And I'll put it about 2020, a little ways in on the screen. So now, if I go in here, so if I go to the menu, Notice that there's nothing there. If I go collect the bow, there's that object. 